Hello, it is around 10 o'clock on November 16th, 2019. Welcome to the weather update. And a uh, beautiful day across Long Island today. Absolutely beautiful. It was cold, but the sky was clear. You could see that the Cirrus has pretty much been off to the south all day long. Hasn't been a problem for us. Apparently, we don't have this image in, but uh, we'll uh, look at this one here. And you will see that the Cirrus is pretty much been to the south all day, been suppressed to the south all day, trying to now, starting to come back, trying to come up. Uh, this is this uh, st crazy storm uh, that uh, we have. In fact, uh, let's go back to the notice here so you can take a look at this thing. This uh, coastal storm, uh, intense coastal storm, uh, with some tropical characteristics, but it's it's not really a tropical storm. It's more of a, you know, extra tropical storm. Uh, but you can see, look at some of this convection going on here. Uh, uh, around you can actually clearly see on the satellite. In fact, if we change the region, let me change the region here. So I take a look at this. Let's change the region to Mid Atlantic. Find it here. And you can use Southeast. That's fine. Hmm, nothing happened. That's weird. Let's try it again. There we go. So here's the storm right here. Let's change this to a 48 hour loop so you can see a little more of it. You can see the circulation clearly and the convection going on in this, this part of the storm. You can clearly see it. Alright, so let me look at the lightning detection. And look at all the lightning. So this is what I mean about tropical characteristics. There's a lot of lightning with this thing. Look at some of the convection going on offshore here. This is this is intense. This is intense convection. Look over here. I mean, this is this is a lot of convection to have in, in an extra tropical system, which is why it has some tropical characteristics. It really does. Uh, yeah, I'm, obviously all eyes are on the system. We had a nice day today. It was cool. I'll, I'll just briefly go over the weather we had today. Uh, here, 33 right now, Farmingdale, dew point nine, so very dry air. Uh, we only got up to 40 degrees, so definitely well below normal, but clear skies all day on this. But I really want to get to this uh, storm here. So uh, let's take a look at some of these observations, these buoys. Here is one. It says 60 degrees. The dew point is... No, that's a wind gust. That's a wind gust. So these the numbers in red here are wind gusts. We have a wind gust of 60. 60. That is crazy. I wonder if you could make these observations larger. Um, I guess not. But you can see here it's 60. So I'll zoom in here. As you can see, look at this. This buoy here has got a temperature of 60. Winds 49 miles an hour with a gust to 60 miles an hour. That's insane. A gust to 60. And I could do even better than that. Look over here. Uh, here's another buoy. Uh, a gust to 65 miles an hour. That's insane. So if we go on land, you'll see there's some pretty intense gusts. Even on land, you have a gust up to 48. It's only going to get worse with this storm as it starts moving t northward a little bit. So this is some intense gusts here. If you go on the right side of the storm, you'll see the kind of air that you're getting into the storm here. 73, the dew point is 68, so you're getting a lot of humidity, a lot of damp, humid, moist air that's fueling this storm. Uh, very impressive, uh, to say the least. And even off our waters now, we're starting to see winds gusting to 40. Even this buoy right here, we got wind gusts to 40. So there's going to be some swells going on and coastal flooding. And those are the areas you see in green here. These are coastal flood advisories uh, because of that. And, and we also have small craft advisories in effect as, as well. Um, if we go off to the Weather Service site, you will see you probably have some you have gale warnings for the offshore waters. And I bet you, if you go even there, there's some storm warnings. So you have some storm warnings because this wind is so strong and this storm is so intense uh, that, it's, that it's causing a lot of... Uh, of the storm is nuts. Uh, I'm just putting it this way. It's, it's nuts. So let's look at it on the uh, windy.com. 
and you'll see the kind of gusts that uh, we're dealing with here and you'll see off the Cape you'll see 45 miles an hour gusts or actually these are sustained winds these aren't gusts these are sustained winds all right so the Cape's got to be getting hammered and again we've got um, 30 mile an hour winds uh, off just to our south offshore let's let's put this in the in the motion here here we are tomorrow morning back this off a little bit so you can see this whole thing here here we are tomorrow morning 9 a.m. here's 3 p.m. Uh, getting a little closer now to our area 9 p.m. luckily it tracks offshore just offshore uh, but the coastal effects will be pretty much experiencing coastal effects with this here is uh, and again we're looking at windy.com which is the euro it has the forks getting into some of the stronger winds all right uh, these are sustained winds now right that we're looking at so the forks get into sustained winds around 30 so you're gonna have some solid gales out there for sure here is the storm uh, 4 p.m. 1 p.m. on Monday it's getting really close and look at how wrapped up this thing is uh, man it's just it's just the weirdest it's so wrapped up it's unbelievable And I don't think the Hurricane Center is issuing anything on this. I don't think they are. All right, let's now I'll go look at wind gusts because this is where it gets more frightening. All right, this is around now. So uh, we got wind gusts here. Maybe it's overestimating a little bit, 74, 72. But you have that 65 mile an hour gust that we did with that. So they, they, these winds are verifying. And like I said, they're not, the worst winds are not that far away from us. So let's go into Sunday, 2 p.m. See, look at this thing. Just continue. It's not moving very much because it's being held in place by that high. So they're getting a really extended period of this in in the Cape. And I'm wondering what's going on over there. If there's going to be co major coastal flooding. And even here, we're going to get coastal flooding too with these winds. Let's move this along to 8. Or at 8 a.m. Let's move this along to 3 p.m., 4 p.m. in the afternoon. It's not moving very fast. So again, this is this is going to be an extended period of this uh battering you know uh and again these are the wind gusts south of long island 44 right it's not that bad luckily we're getting off easy here when it makes its closest approach on the euro and like i said i have a tendency to think the euro is the most accurate when it comes to these kind of things we are going to have let's see what does that say 44 mile an hour gust okay so that's not too bad I mean, it's bad but it's not too bad but you don't have to go too far for the gusts to exceed 50 so if that you know, it, it, it's close enough that we're going to have these marine effects uh, from this 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 storm here. Here it goes. Here's Monday afternoon, 3 p.m. Uh, just it, it's going to hammer, and it's just a huge storm. So look at how big it is. It's like it takes up almost the whole eastern seaboard. Um, so uh, now we go and we look at well, what about the rain? Uh, let's uh, go ahead and look at that. Listen, we'll, we'll, we see rain coming into our area. We stay dry, I think, tomorrow. Uh, the rain, heaviest rain stays off to the south. We may start to see a little more rain get in here sun, late Sunday night, but it looks like even it keeps most of our area dry. Maybe Monday. Monday, we probably have the biggest chance to see some rain from this early on Monday, uh, according to the Euro. Okay, um... But again, this is a monster storm. And again, uh, I remind you, look at the waves. Uh, we go here and we'll back to Sunday morning. I mean, along the south shore, you're going to have waves 10 feet. All right. But in the open ocean, you're going to have waves of over 20 feet. All right. We go to 11 a.m. Those, those, the, the higher waves spread even more closer to us. So uh, the, the south shore, you're going to have 11 foot. 12 foot so there's going to be coastal flooding there's going to be beach erosion uh, this is going to be a significant event uh, that really we're going to have to watch and of course I'll update you on this storm again some t tomorrow or probably not in the evening in the early part of the day probably in the afternoon sometime I'll update you again on this storm so uh, let's uh, let's go to tropicaltidbits.com we're going to look at this storm right here here it is on the GFS 999 millibar low, uh, and it tracks it. Like I said, it keeps the most of the precip offshore, uh, but it the GFS does us have us getting into that rain on Monday, 
and the URO is in agreement with that, and I'm in agreement with that too as well. Uh, I think we should eke out, be dry most of tomorrow. But look at that uh, depth of that low there. That's that's a really deep, deep low uh, that uh, we are seeing there. And of course, that's the GFS. If we go and we look at the NAM, uh, you'll see it'll probably be even deeper than that. So let's see what we got for the NAM. So here's the NAM, 994, 994. 993, so all right, 988, so it actually deepens it even more as it makes an approach to us. So this this thing's got to be watched. It's going to have to be watched. As far as the rain goes, NAM now, uh, keep, it was originally bringing a lot of rain in tomorrow night. Now the NAM even keeps most of the rain away from us, and that may very well be because there's dry air on this side of the storm. So we may not get much rain from it, but what we are going to see is wind, uh, and uh, that is uh, going to be definitely is something that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, we'll go to the three kilometer and I'll just, just for fun, we'll look at the clouds and see uh, what we have here with as far as clouds go. Uh, I'm sure that the clouds will roll in on us tomorrow. So obviously we had a really nice clear day today. Cirrus rolls on us by Sunday morning and then we have a lot more, a lot more clouds around uh, and uh, those clouds stick around right through Monday into Tuesday. All right. So as far as temperatures go, we'll go over to the GFS and we'll take a look at that. I shall look over the clouds, meaning that I'm already on that. So here is a Sunday, clouds roll in, Cirrus rolls in on us. As far as the next opportunity for a clear day, I don't know. Maybe Wednesday. That's the best opportunity I have for you right now as far as for a clear day. I really don't want to look too much into next week beyond this storm, because this storm is the next major weather event that we have to focus on. Uh, right now. So uh, we're going to go to the winds now on the GFS and see uh, how close those really strong winds get to us. Uh, and it looks like the worst of it, like I said, stays just... Oh, we just got lucky again. The, 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 the Cape is going to get it a lot worse than we are. All right, you can see the winds there. Let me look at the NAM wind field and see what the... It's pretty much in agreement. The models pretty much agree on this storm. It seems to be a, a, an agreement as to the track and the wind and the uh, where the precipitation is going to go. Well, the NAM is a little drier, though, than the GFS. That's that's the only thing. Um, but other than that, the, there seems to be a general agreement on this storm that it's going to stay offshore. Thank God. Uh, but we will see coastal impacts from this storm. So I'll just go over the temperatures now. And we'll go back to the GFS to show you that we will see temperatures recover a little bit. But with that northeast wind, it's not really going to recover all that much. So as we go into tomorrow, you can see all that really warm air. That This is like a warm core system here. You can, whoops, you can see all that warm air right there. This is like a warm core system. But over us, we've got the cold air locked in. So tomorrow, probably not all that much warmer than today, especially because we're going to have cloud cover. Uh, and probably the same for Monday, too. Uh, with that northeast to east flow. Uh, and Tuesday, we start maybe moderating a little bit, and another front comes through Wednesday, uh, and uh, then we stay uh, kind of stay below normal. Uh, and maybe a little warm up on Friday. But like I said, I'm not really looking at that too much. We've got to really watch this storm here. Uh, there's another side I want to look at power outage US. Uh, see how many, how, oh, let's see if there are any impacts from this storm in the Carolinas. Not really. Not many power outages. Okay, so there aren't many power outages, but I'm telling you that there could be coastal flooding. So what I want to do is I want to go to the uh, weather service for the Outer Banks area here. So you can see what they're dealing with here. you got a high wind warning in effect. Storm warnings, flood warnings. Uh, this is what the radar looks like, by the way, down there. So they're getting a lot of heavy rain. Morehead City, uh, this whole area is getting socked with heavy rain. Uh, so that could be some flash flooding, let alone coastal flooding from all that heavy rain that they're dealing with. Um, so we can actually look at the tweets. Reports from Hatteras Island are the overwash has really cranked up. Okay. And the motels in Buxton all getting pounded. Uh, NC-12 remains closed from Oregon Inlet to Rothdale. All right. So we're going to go right here. And WS Moorhead City. So the area that's getting hit really hard here. So water levels continue to rise here. Uh, because you have the wind, so the rivers can't, they can't empty out. You have this rain falling, but the rivers can't empty out because the tide keeps pushing in. So this is causing a lot of flooding. Some wind gusts there, peak winds 60 miles an hour. 
Uh, this is going to be a very, uh, uh, very bad impact for Eastern North Carolina here. All right. Uh, so uh, I'll keep you posted on this storm. Uh, it definitely is to be watched. It's 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 a coastal storm, but it has tropical characteristics, which again is something we're seeing a lot of lately. So that does wrap up this weather update. Take care and thank you for watching.